डियर स्टूडेंट्स असलम डॉक्टर मोहम्मद चमल चुगताई लेक्चर नंबर सात लेकर हाजिर है आज के लेक्चर में हम गुजशत लेक्चर से पेवस्था कुछ एग्जाम्पल्स पर गौर करेंगे जिनमें मुख्तलिफ सोर्सेज की वैल्यू को कैलकुलेट करना सीखेंगे इनमें वोल्टेज सोर्सेज और करंट सोर्सेज शामिल होंगे मजीद बर हम कर्क ऑफ करंट लॉ को पढ़ेंगे जिसमें मुख्तलिफ नोट्स पर करंट की वैल्यूज को कैलकुलेट करना सीखा जाएगा मिसाल नंबर वन में हम एक वोल्टेज सोर्स की वैल्यू को निकालना सीखेंगे जिसमें एक रेजिस्टिव नेटवर्क के आउटपुट पर वैल्यू बताई गई है रेजिस्टेंसेस की वैल्यू बी बताई गई है लेकिन वोल्टेज सोर्स की वैल्यू मालूम करना है आइए स्लाइड पर चलते हैं द वोल्टेज बिटवीन नोड ए एंड बी इज फोर वोल्ट द सोर्स वोल्टेज कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड नाउ एज यू कैन सी फ्रॉम द फिगर दैट द सर्किट इज कंप्राइजिंग टू रेजिस्टेंसेस वन हैविंग अ वैल्यू ऑफ एट किलो ओम्स एंड द अदर वन हैविंग अ वैल्यू ऑफ फोर किलो ओम्स नाउ फोर वोल्ट पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस हैज बीन गिवन एट द नोड ए एंड बी आवर टास्क इज टू कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ द वोल्टेज सोर्स सो इफ वी अप्लाई द सिंपल वोल्टेज डिवाइडर फॉर्मूला टू दिस सर्किट वी कैन राइट एज वी इज इक्वल टू आर ओवर आर टी इन टू वी एस वेयर आर इज द वैल्यू ऑफ द रेजिस्टेंस अक्रॉस विच द वोल्टेज फोर वोल्ट इज गिवन देरफोर पुटिंग अप द वैल्यूज इन टू दिस इक्वेशन वी कैन हैव फोर इज इक्वल टू एट डिवाइडेड बाय फोर प्लस एट ट्वेल्व इन टू वी एस नाउ बिकॉज वी एस इज एन अनोन क्वांटिटी टू अस सो इट विल रिमेन एज सच एंड we rearrange the equation so that we can work out the value of vs therefore vs is equal to 12 into 4 divided by 8 and that comes up as 6 volts agli misal mein hum dekhenge ki current source ki value ko kis tarah calculate kiya ja sakta hai jabke hamara resistive network circuit bhi thoda sa complicated ho जाहिर है कि जब हम करंट सोर्स की वैल्यू को कैलकुलेट करना चाहेंगे तो करंट डिवाइडर रूल के तहत ही कैलकुलेट किया जा सकता है आइए स्लाइड पर देखते हैं वी वॉन्ट टू कैलकुलेट द सोर्स करंट द वोल्टेज अक्रॉस थ्री के रेजिस्टेंस इज ट्वेल्व वोल्ट करंट फ्लोइंग थ्रू इट विल बी आई इज इक्वल टू वी ओवर आर नाउ एज वी कैन सी फ्रॉम द फिगर दैट the voltage across the nodes a and b has been given as 12 volts and the values of other resistances has also been mentioned the only value which is missing is for the current source is now from the ohms law we have already written i is equal to v over r therefore putting up the values into this ohms law formula we can write i is equal to 12 over 3 kilo ohms is equal to 4 milli amperes that will mean that the current flowing through the 3 kilo ohm resistance is 4 milli amperes now if we see that the 3 kilo ohm resistance is clearly in series to the 9 kilo ohm resistance from our previous lectures we can remember that when there are certain number of resistances in series to each other and connected to a current source then same amount of current will be flowing through all of them the same rule will apply in here therefore 4 milliampere current will be passing through 9 kilo ohm resistance and the same amount will be passing through 3 kilo ohm resistance 3k is in series with 9k and 2k 
is in series with 4K. The same situation is on the other hand side. So, what we can do is we can add them up on the either side of the current source. Therefore, the equivalent circuit will be as shown in this slide that on the right hand side of the current source it will be having a value of 12 kilo ohms whereas on the left hand side of the current source the resistance will bear up a value of 6 kilo ohms. Now we can calculate the current by using current division rule. The source current will be I is equal to 6 divided by 12 plus 6 K into I S that is the source current. Therefore, rearranging this equation we can write as I S is equal to 18 K divided by 6 K into 4 milliamperes, which is the value we have calculated earlier on. Therefore, the value of the source current I S comes up as 12 milliamperes. Given a circuit for which we need to calculate V y if I z is equal to minus 3 amperes, B what voltage would need to replace the 5 volt source to obtain V y is equal to minus 6 volts if I z is equal to 0 0.5 amperes. In this question, part A is straightforward and we have to consider the value of the independent current source as having minus 3 amperes. Whereas, the part B is a bit conditional part where in the question it has been asked that we want to remove the 5 volt battery and still we need to have V y is equal to minus 6 volts and provided the value of I z is 0 0.5 amperes. Now, starting from the point where we want to calculate V y, we can write V y is equal to 1 into 3 V x plus I z. Looking into the original circuit, we can see that the 5 volt battery has been connected across 2 ohm resistance and also the voltage drop across 2 ohm resistance has been mentioned as Vx. That would mean that the voltage drop across the 2 ohm resistance will be equal to the 5 volt battery because 2 ohm resistance has been connected in parallel to this battery. Therefore, we can write Vx is equal to 5 volts. Also, in the part A of the question, we have been given the value of Iz, which is Iz is equal to minus 3 volts. Therefore, putting these two values into the above equation which we have written earlier on for V subscript Y, we can calculate the value of V Y. Hence, we get V Y is equal to 3 into 5 minus 3. Solving this, we get V Y is equal to 12 volts. Going for the part 2, of this question, once again we can write the same basic equation for V y that is V y is equal to 1 into 3 V x plus I z that will be equal to 
after putting the values of Vx and Iz minus 6 equals 3 Vx plus 0 0.5. Now these values has been put from the part B of the actual question. That is, it was given to us in the actual part B of the question that Vy will be having a value of minus 6 volts, whereas the value of Iz is 0 0.5. Therefore, we can calculate with the help of the same equation and putting these given values the value of Yx. Solving the equation minus 6 is equal to 3Vx plus 0 0.5 we can calculate the value of Vx that will be equal to minus 6 minus 0 0.5 divided by 3 that will be equal to minus 2.167 volts. That means that if we replace the 5 volt battery source and we put the value of Vy as minus 6 volts, whereas the value of Iz is taken as 0 0.5 volts, then the value of Vx which will appear across 2 ohm resistance that will be equal to minus 2.167 volts. Aziz Talaba. Agli misal mein hum voltage source ki value ko calculate karna sikhenge. Jab ke circuit elements jo ke is case mein resistances hain, pichli misal se thode se zyada muskil andaz mein connect up kiye gaye hain. Aayye slide par chalte hain. We want to calculate the source voltage. The voltage across 2 kilo ohm resistance is given as 4 volts. So the current flowing through it will be applying Ohm's law. We can write I is equal to V over R. That will come up as 4 volts divided by 2 kilo ohms equals to 2 milliamperes. The same current is flowing through the series combination of 2K and 4K. Now we can see from the figure that the 2 kilo ohm resistance and the 4 kilo ohm resistance, they both are in series to each other. Therefore, same current will be flowing through both of them. As we have earlier calculated that a current of 2 milliampere is flowing through 2 kilo ohm resistance, therefore, we can say that the same amount of current, 2 milliamperes, is also flowing through 4 kilo ohm resistance. We can calculate the voltage across 4 kilo ohm resistance as V is equal to IR that will be equal to 2 milliamperes into 4 kilo ohms that comes up as 8 volts. Therefore, the total voltage across 2 kilo and 4 kilo ohm resistances will be the sum of the two voltage values we have now. One we have calculated, the other was given in the question. Therefore, the total voltage will be equal to V is equal to 4 volts plus 8 volts is equal to 12 volts. Now, again we can take the sum of the two resistances, 4 kilo ohm and 2 kilo ohm, both are in series, therefore we can write 4K plus 2K is equal to 6 kilo ohms. Therefore, our circuit will adopt the shape as shown in this slide that the 6 kilo ohm equivalent resistance has become now in parallel with the original resistance having a value of 6 kilo ohms as well. Therefore, we can easily apply the resistive parallel formula to calculate the equivalent resistance 
of these two parallel resistances. Hence, we can write 6k parallel to 6k is equal to 6 into 6 divided by 12 that will be equal to 3 kilo ohms. Therefore, our circuit has become even simpler as shown in this slide that the equivalent 3 kilo ohm resistance has become in series to the original 9 kilo ohm value. And now we can again consider them acting as a voltage divider. The voltage across 3 kilo ohm resistor is 12 volts as we have calculated earlier on. Therefore, the source voltage will be V is equal to 3 divided by 12 into V s. Therefore, V is equal to 12 into 12 divided by 3 is equal to 48 volts. Aziz Talaba, Agli misal mein humara circuit mazid complicated ho gaya hai aur us mein voltage source ki value di gayi hai jab ke do ya teen se zyada resistances ko circuit mein connect up kiya gaya hai. Is misal mein hum kisi ek resistance ke across voltage nikalna sikhenge. Aye slide par chalte hain. We want to calculate the voltage across 4 kilo resistor. Now you can see from this figure that the 4k resistance which is right at the bottom of the circuit and is connected alone rather I can say in series to 9 kilo ohm value and we want to calculate the voltage that will appear across this resistor. Now, it looks like it is quite complicated. Slide per diye gaye circuit se zahir hota hai ke ye kafi pechi da circuit hai. Lekin agar hum is circuit ko ek sire se pakar kar hal karna shuru kare to jaisa hum piche karte aye hai usi tarikhe se ye bhi simpler form mein aa sakta hai aur hum basani उस रेजिस्टर के अक्रॉस जिसके अक्रॉस क्वेश्चन में पूछा गया है वोल्टेज निकाल सकते हैं आइए देखें सर्किट को अगर हम मुहतात तरीके से देखें तो वी कैन सी दैट द 12 किलो ओम रेजिस्टेंस वैल्यू व्हिच इज कनेक्टेड अक्रॉस अंडर द मार्क्स ए एंड बी दैट इज इन पैरेलल टू द resistance 4 kilo ohm value across which we want to calculate the voltage value. Therefore, we can write 12k parallel to 4 kilo ohms is equal to 12 into 4 divided by 12 plus 4 is equal to 3 kilo ohms. Ab hum in do no resistances ko hata kar circuit mein in ki jaga pe 3 kilo ohm value ka equivalent resistance insert kar dete hain jo ke upar wale resistance ke in series mein aa jayega aaiye slide dekhe now 9 kilo ohm resistance which is the original resistance as given in the question earlier on has become in series to the equivalent value of 3 kilo ohm resistance therefore we can calculate the combined effect by adding them up simply to write 9 kilo ohms plus 3 kilo ohms is equal to 12 kilo ohms. Therefore, again we replace these two resistances in series with an equivalent value of 12 kilo ohms. Now, the 12 kilo ohm value which is the equivalent value has become in parallel to the 6 kilo ohm value. Therefore, again we calculate the equivalent effect of these two resistances when they are in parallel to each other by writing 
12 k parallel to 6 k is equal to 12 into 6 divided by 18 that will be equal to 4 kilo ohm value. Lihaza hamin dono 6 k or 12 k values ko hatakar in ki jagape in ka equivalent value ka resistance insert kar dete hai jasa ke is slide me dikaya gya hai. Now this equivalent 12 kilo ohm resistance has become parallel to the original 4 kilo ohm resistance value. Therefore, once again we calculate the equivalent value for these two resistances which are in parallel to each other. So that we can write 12 k parallel to 4 k is equal to 12 into 4 divided by 12 plus 4 that is equal to once again 3 kilo ohm value. Lihaza hum in dono resistances ko bhi hata kar in ki jaga pe in ki equivalent value ko laga lete hain aur is tarah se humare paas circuit ki jo shakal banti hai wo nihayat hi sada ho jati hai jaisa ke is slide mein dikhaya gaya hai. The slide shows that the equivalent value of 3 kilo ohm resistance has become in series to the original value of 3 kilo ohm resistance. Now this is the simplest form of a voltage divider circuit and we can easily calculate the voltage across the equivalent 3 kilo ohm value. Very easy because the voltage source is given the value of 12 volts. Therefore, we can write V is equal to 3 by 6 into 12 that will be equal to 6 volts. Is ke baad, kyunke humne 3 kilo ohm value ke resistance ke across voltage calculate kar li hai aur yaad rakhiye ke ye 3 kilo ohm resistance equivalent resistance hai na ke original. Lihaza, ab hume is value ko darja ba tarja kholna padega jaisa ke is slide mein dikhaya gaya hai. Now remember that when the resistances are connected parallel to each other across a voltage source, same voltage drop can be observed across each of the resistances. Therefore, we can go back to one of the previous slides where we can see that the 3 kilo ohm and 9 kilo ohm resistances they have become in series to each other and also the 6 kilo ohm value and 12 kilo ohm value they are also connected in parallel to these two resistances. So the voltage across 3 kilo resistor is V is equal to 3 divided by 12 into 6 which is equal to 1.5 volts. Therefore, the same voltage drop will be observed across 4 kilo ohm resistance value. Hence, our final answer will be 1.5 volts. Aziz Talaba, is agla humara topic Kirchhoff's law se mutalik hai. Kirchhoff's law me do tarah ki versions di gayi hain. Ek ko Kirchhoff's current law aur dusre ko Kirchhoff's voltage law ke naam se jana jata hai. Kirchhoff's current law me hum current ki mukhtalif nodes par distribution ko dekhte hain ki kis tarah se ek zyada quantity ka current mukhtalif branches mein jaane ke baad khud ko reduce kar leta hai of course iski reduction depends upon the value of the resistances which are attached next to the node isse pehle ke hum iski detail mein aur mukhtalif definitions ko dekhein aaiye iski misal is tarah se le lete hain 
کہ جیسے کسی ایک پائپ میں سے پانی گزر رہا ہو اور اس پائپ کے دوسرے اینڈ پہ ایک فورک کی طرح کی شکل بن جائے تو جو پانی اوپر سے مین پائپ میں آ رہا ہوگا وہ آگے دونوں فورکس میں ڈیوائڈ ہو جائے گا جب ان دونوں فورکس کے برانچز کا ایریا ایک جیسا ہوگا تو یقیناً پانی کی مقدار برابر دونوں فوکس برانچز میں تقسیم ہو جائے گی لیکن اگر کسی ایک برانچ میں آفرڈ ریزسٹینس جو کہ ہم اس کے ڈائی میٹر کو کم کر کے انکریز کر سکتے ہیں ہوگی تو اس میں پانی کا بہاؤ کم ہو جائے گا جبکہ دوسرے میں بڑھ جائے گا بالکل اسی طرح سے کرنٹ کا بھی معاملہ ہے کہ ریزسٹینسز کی ویلیوز کی وجہ سے کسی بھی نوٹ پر اس کی ویلیوز ڈفرنٹ ہوتی جاتی ہیں اب ایک اور بات جو اس میں یاد رکھنے کی ہے کہ پانی کے بہاؤ کو آپ مین پائپ میں سے نیچے برانچز کی طرف لیں یا برانچز میں سے مین پائپ کی طرف لیں بات ایک ہی رہتی ہے زیادہ سے زیادہ آپ اس میں جو فرق آبزرو کر سکتے ہیں وہ اس کے سائن کو ایک طرف میں پوزیٹیو اور دوسری طرف میں نیگیٹو کر سکتے ہیں اس سے پہلے کہ ہم مختلف نوٹس انالیسس میں جائیں آئیے کچھ ڈیفینیشنز کو دیکھتے ہیں کرکوفس کرنٹ لا اسٹیٹس دیٹ سم آف آل دا کرنٹس اینٹرنگ ان دا نوٹ از ایکول ٹو دا سم آف کرنٹس لیونگ دا نوٹ اس کو اس طرح سے سمجھ لیں کہ کسی بھی نوٹ میں جتنے بھی کرنٹس آ کر سم اپ ہوں گے اس کی مقدار اس نوٹ کو چھوڑنے والے کرنٹس کے سم کے برابر ہوگی اٹ کین آلسو بی ڈیفائنڈ ایز سم آف اینٹرنگ کرنٹس پلس سم آف لیونگ کرنٹس از ایکول ٹو زیرو اس کے بعد ہم کچھ ازمپشنس جیسا کہ میں نے پانی کی مثال کے سلسلے میں بتائیں کہ اس کی ڈائریکشنز کو کسی بھی طرف اسیوم کیا جا سکتا ہے بالکل اسی طرح سے کرنٹ کی ڈائریکشن کو بھی کسی بھی طرف اسیوم کیا جا سکتا ہے اس میں زیادہ سے زیادہ فرق اس کے نیگیٹو سائن کا پڑے گا لہذا اسمپشنس کو ہم اس طرح سے لے سکتے ہیں آل دا اینٹرنگ کرنٹس آر ٹیکن ایز نیگیٹو آل دا لیونگ کرنٹس آر ٹیکن ایز پوزیٹو نوٹ میں ہم یہ دیکھیں گے یا یہ فرض کرتے ہیں کہ جتنے بھی کرنٹس کسی بھی نوٹ کی طرف اینٹر ہو رہے ہیں ان کو ہم نیگیٹو کنسیڈر کر لیتے ہیں اور اس نوٹ کو جتنے بھی کرنٹ لیو کر رہے ہوتے ہیں ان کو ہم پوزیٹو لے لیتے ہیں ایک چیز یاد رکھیے کہ کنونشنل کرنٹ ہمیشہ پوزیٹو سے نیگیٹو کی طرف بہتا ہے جبکہ الیکٹرانک کرنٹ ہمیشہ نیگیٹو سے پوزیٹو کی طرف بہتا ہے اور اس کا بہاؤ بھی اسی طرح سے دکھایا جاتا ہے کیونکہ نیگیٹولی چارج الیکٹرانس پوزیٹولی چارج پروٹونز کی وجہ سے پوزیٹو ڈائریکشن میں اٹریکٹ ہوتے رہتے ہیں دی نیکسٹ ڈیفینیشن از اباؤٹ نوٹ اٹ از دا جنکشن آف ٹو اور مور دین ٹو ایلیمنٹس اور اٹ از سمپلی اے پوائنٹ آف کنیکشن آف سرکٹ ایلیمنٹس شروع کی مثال جو آپ کو پائپ اور پانی کی بتائی گئی ہے اس میں مین پائپ کے آگے جو دو برانچز نکل رہی تھیں جہاں پہ یہ دو برانچز سٹارٹ ہوتی ہیں ان کو ہم نوڈ کے نام سے تعبیر کرتے ہیں اس کے بعد آئیے اگلی ڈیفینیشن دیکھتے ہیں برانچ اٹ از دا ڈسٹینس اور لنک بٹوین ٹو نوڈس نیکسٹ ڈیفینیشن از لوپ 
it is the closed path for the flow of current in which no node is encountered more than once. Loop ko aap is tarah se samaj sakte hain ki ye ek closed path hota hai jis pe koi ek node ek se zyada dafa repeat nahi ho sakti. Lihaza isko hum loop ke naam se yani urdu mein agar hum samajhna chahe to ek chhalla ya circle ya daira ke naam se tabir kar sakte hain. Aaiye ab Kirchhoff's current law se mutalliq कुछ एग्जांपल्स देखते हैं फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी डिस्कस द फॉर्मूला फॉर राइटिंग द इक्वेशंस। कर्क ऑफ करंट लॉ को जब हम किसी भी सर्किट पे अप्लाई कर रहे होंगे तो उसमें हमें उस सर्किट की एक इक्वेशन लिखना पड़ेगी अब ये डिपेंड करता है कि उसमें कितनी नोट्स हैं अगर दो नोट्स का सर्किट होगा तो उसकी नंबर ऑफ करंट इक्वेशंस n माइनस वन यानी के ओनली टू माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू वन होगी अगर किसी सर्किट में चार नोड्स होंगी तो उसकी नंबर ऑफ इक्वेशंस जो हमें डेवलप करना होगी वो चार नफी एक मसावी तीन होगा इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन के चौथी नोट कहां पे जाती है इन एक्चुअल फैक्ट्स हम इस चौथी नोट को या जो भी आखिरी नोट होती है उसको हम रेफरेंस पॉइंट के तौर पर कंसीडर करते हैं यानी कि ये तमाम नोट्स के साथ इसका रता एज ए कॉमन फीचर के तौर पर होता है उर्फ आम में इसे हम ग्राउंड या फिर रेफरेंस पॉइंट भी कहते हैं द फॉर्मल डेफिनेशन ऑफ ग्राउंड और रेफरेंस पॉइंट कैन बी रिटर्न एज दिस इज ए कॉमन और रेफरेंस पॉइंट अमंग ऑल द नोड्स विदाउट द इंसर्शन ऑफ ए कंपोनेंट इन बिटवीन इससे बाद हम एक सादा तरीन मिसाल लेंगे जिसमें मुख्तलिफ नोड्स को दिखाया गया है और रेजिस्टेंसेस की वैल्यू हमने नहीं दिखाई सिर्फ लाइनें डाल के उनमें से जारी करंट को मेंशन किया गया है जबकि कुछ अननोन वैल्यूज ऑफ करंट को हमें कैलकुलेट करना है ये मिसाल आपको एक अच्छी प्रैक्टिस देगी जिसको हल करने के बाद आपको किसी भी सर्किट की इक्वेशन लिखने के बारे में प्रैक्टिस हो जाएगी आइए स्लाइड पर देखते हैं स्लाइड शोज देर आर फाइव नोड्स इन दिस सर्किट देर फोर वी कैन एक्सपेक्ट एटलीस्ट हाउ मेनी नंबर ऑफ इक्वेशन फॉर दिस सर्किट दैट विल बी फाइव माइनस वन इज इक्वल टू फोर ऑल्सो वी एस्यूम दैट द करंट लिविंग द नोट are positive all the current's values which are leaving the nodes we consider them as positive the kcl equation for node 1 which is right on the top of the circuit through node 4 are we can write for node 1 minus i1 you can see that i1 is approaching to node 1 plus 0.06 we have converted 60 milliamperes which is leaving node 1 as positive and we have written it as 0.06 plus there is another value of current which is 20 milliampere right on the right hand side of the circuit that is also leaving the node one therefore we have put a positive sign next to it and we have converted 20 milliamps into the fractional uh, figure as 0.02 and these are only three currents which are affecting the node one therefore 
we write this equation equal to 0. Now, we simplify this equation minus I 1 plus 0 0.08 is equal to 0. Rearranging it, we can easily find I 1 is equal to 0 0.08 amperes. Isme aapne dekha ke kis tarah se nihayat asani ke saath humne node 1 mein se current ki value ko calculate kar liya hai. Jab ke do current ki values hume malum thi, humne tisri current values ko calculate kiya. Aayye ab dusri node pe chalte hai. For node 2, which is on the left hand side of the screen, we can also see that the current I1 is leaving the node 2, therefore we write it as such. Next, we can see that the current I4 is approaching the node 2, therefore we write negative sign next to it, hence we write I1 minus I4. There is another current I6 which is leaving the node 2 also. Therefore, because it is leaving, hence we put a positive sign next to it and we write it as plus I6 and we equate this expression to 0. Now, I1 we have already calculated in the previous equation. Therefore, we put up the value for I1 which is 0 0.08 and into this equation and we come up as minus I4 plus I6 is equal to minus 0 0.08 amperes. This equation ko hum abhi thodi der tak ke liye isi tarah se chodte hain. Ta vakte ke hum I6 ya I4 mein se ek value ko calculate kar le aur phir isme wapas aakar uski respective value ko hum put up karenge aur ek current ki value ko nikal lenge. Aayye isse agli node par chalte hain. For node 3 which is right in the middle of the circuit. Again we can see that 60 milliampere current is approaching the node 3. Therefore, we put a negative sign next to 0 0.06. Then I4 is leaving the node 3. Hence, we write plus I4. On the, from the right hand side, we can again see that I5 is approaching to node 3. Therefore, negative sign next to it. Another current which is having a value of 40 milliampere is leaving the node 3 as well. Therefore, we write a positive sign next to it and we write as 0 0.04 and equate all this sum to 0. Simplifying it, we can write I4 minus I5 is equal to 0 0.02 amperes. Ek dafa phir aapne dekha ke is equation mein bhi do unknown variables aagaye hain. Isko bhi hum thode vakt ke liye isi tarah se chhodte hain aur aage chalte hain. Jis tarah maine isse pehle aapko bataya usi tarah se hum in mein se bhi kuch values ko calculate karke wapas aakar isme insert karenge aur phir एक वेरिएबल की वैल्यू निकालेंगे आइए अगली नोड पर चलते हैं फॉर नोड 4 व्हिच इज ऑन टू द राइट हैंड साइड ऑफ द स्लाइड वी कैन सी दैट 20 मिली एंपियर करंट इज अप्रोचिंग द नोड 4 देयरफॉर वी कैन राइट माइनस 0.02 नेक्स्ट i5 इज लीविंग द नोड 4 Hence, we write it as a positive quantity and another current value of 30 milliamp is also approaching 
the node 4. Therefore, once again we write a negative sign next to it and equate the whole expression to 0. Rearranging, we can write I5 is equal to 0 0.05 amperes. Now, putting the value of I5 in the equation of node 4, we can calculate the value of I4. Therefore, we can write I4 minus 0 0.05 equals 0 0.02. Again, rearranging it, we end up with I4 is equal to 0 0.07 amperes. Putting the value of I4 in the equation of node 2, we can once again write minus 0 0.07 plus I6 equals minus 0 0.08. Therefore, the value of I6 comes up as minus 0 0.01 ampere. For the circuit shown, find Vx I in and I s. As the network is shown in the slide, we can see that it involves three current sources. Two of these sources are independent current sources, whereas the third current source is a voltage dependent current source. Among the two independent current sources, one is having a value of 6 amperes, whereas the value of other independent current source is needed to be calculated. Also, we need to calculate the value of Vx, which is the voltage drop across the 4 ohm resistance. And once we calculate that, we can also calculate the value of the voltage dependent current source which is connected onto the extreme right hand side of the circuit. The third parameter which we need to calculate is I in and that is mentioned at the input terminals of this circuit. Now, towards the solution of this example, we can apply KVL so that we can write minus 2 plus Vx plus 8 equals 0. That is, we have taken up the loop consisting of 2 ohm resistance, the 4 ohm resistance and the second 2 ohm resistance which is on to the right hand side of the circuit and since both the 2 ohm resistances has been marked with the voltage drop across them therefore we are able to use these voltage drop values into our KVL equations and that is why we have used the figures of minus 2 and plus 8 whereas the value of Vx, that is the voltage drop across 4 ohm resistance is unknown. Hence, we will be using the same parameter that is Vx and calculate after solving the KVL equation for Vx. Therefore, rearranging the KVL equation, we can write Vx is equal to minus 6 volts. The part B of this example is to find the value of Is. Now, we must apply KCL at the top right node of the circuit. Applying KCL at this node, we can write Is plus 4Vx is equal to 4 minus Vx by 4 and putting the value of Vx from the top
part A of the example into this equation, we can solve this equation for the value of I s and after putting up the value of V x, we can calculate very easily the value of I s that will be equal to 29.5 amperes. For the part C of this question, once again we need to calculate the input current of this network. Therefore, we apply the KCL at the top left node that is other side of the circuit onto the left hand side. Hence, applying KCL we can write the equation as I in is equal to 1 plus I s plus V x divided by 4 minus 6. Now, putting up the values of I s and V x from the previous two parts of this solution, we can have the equation as I in is equal to 1 plus 29.5 plus minus 6 divided by 4 minus 6. Solving this equation for I in, we can have the value of I in that will be equal to 23 amperes. Is me hum ne dekha ke I 6 ki value humare paas negative wa gai hai. Is ka matlab ye hoga ke uske arrow ki direction in actual circuit Dusri taraf hogi as compared to the one shown in the circuit. Aziz Talaba, aaj humne mukhtlif voltage or current sources ki values ko calculate karna sikha. Jab ke ye sources kuch complicated circuits mein insert kiye gaye the. Iske ilawa humne Kirchhoff's law ki basic definitions, Kirchhoff's law ki mukhtlif aksam, yani Kirchhoff's current law or Kirchhoff's voltage law ko padha, uske bunyadi assumptions ko bhi humne sikha. Iske ilawa humne dekha ke ek nihai sada si example ko kis tara se hal karke uske mukhtlif branches mein se current ko calculate किया जा सकता है अगले लेक्चर में हम थोड़ी सी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड या पेचीदा मिसालों को लेंगे जिसमें مختلف सर्किट एलिमेंट्स मिसाल के तौर पर रेजिस्टेंस वगैरह लगाए गए होंगे उनको उनके अक्रॉस वोल्टेज और उनमें से करंट के बहाव को कैलकुलेट किया जाएगा और जिस तरह से हम पिछले लेक्चर्स में करते आए हैं उसकी مختلف कॉम्प्लिकेटेड मिसालों से इस लॉ की अफादियत को सीखने की कोशिश की जाएगी इसके साथ ही लेक्चर नंबर 7 का वक्त खत्म हुआ लेक्चर नंबर 8 तक के लिए इजाजत दीजिए अल्लाह हाफिज़